Aquaponics is a combination of aquaculture and hydroponics, meaning we're combining fish, uh, which is the aquaculture, and the hydroponics, which is vegetable production using soilless media. So the aquaponic is uh, the idea, uh, combining the two, where the fish waste uh, becomes uh, a food for the plants. Uh, and the uh, plants, plant roots, clean the water um, by absorbing all this uh, waste and uh, nutrients and all that. And then, so when the water goes back to the fish, uh, they can, it's recycled. It's a very uh, a productive system. You can produce year-round. Many of the small farms, uh, they produce, they sell to CSA on farms, uh, restaurants, uh, at farmers markets. But the, uh, everybody wants to do uh, farm tours and lectures and this and that because everybody's interested. They want to see the fish. They want to feed the fish. They want to uh, go visit the greenhouse where their, food, where their vegetables were produced. In theory, you can grow any vegetable because what you have in the water, you have oxygen, you have nutrient, you have water. So anything can grow. Of course, uh, herbs, uh, lettuce, kale, um, watercress, spinach, uh, basil, those are small plants and their turnover is quick. Here is you have the fish tank, so the fish will be here and the water will flow by gravity um, to this first a tank which is a, a filter, solids filter. So just by having some uh, uh, ba buffers here, um, the solids settle at the bottom and then the water rises and then move to this tank. And this tank has uh, uh, a biofilter. So there is a mesh, there's all kind of different material available in the market so that uh, bacteria uh, starts to colonize uh, uh, this mesh and de de degrade the solids and change the ammonia which is a waste product of the fish and change the solids into minerals and nitrates and nitrites that the plants can use. So again by gravity it will flow from here to here and then from here to here and this one is the second stage uh, biofilter Right now it's empty, but uh, it will be. It can be filled with uh, gravel. It can be filled with uh, expanded shale, uh, granite, any uh, any neut uh, neutral uh, st uh, stone or gravel. Uh, so again, there's bacteria in the water uh, to break down and stop any solids from reaching the uh, the troughs, which is the where the plants will be growing. And then the water by gravity falls into here and fills up this place and this is about uh, 10 inches deep but in reality you'll have only 8 inches of water because you have this foam. So this foam will be floating on the water and the uh, plants in the coconut core or special potting media will be here. So the roots will be sitting in water um, and of course the water will come out uh, from this and the pump, this little pump, is what starts the cycle over again. It will take the uh, water from the end of the tank and push it back up to here. So everything's flowing down by gravity. Uh, this little pump uh, takes it back up to recirculate it. This other pump is uh, oxygen generator. This this pump here makes uh, makes. Uh, uh, adds uh, oxygen to the water uh, to aerate it so that the roots don't rot. You'll see, uh, you'll see these bubbling oxygen in the water and you'll see roots sitting in the water and you'll see um, beautiful white roots actively growing there shouldn't be any fish, there shouldn't be any dirt, there shouldn't be any solids in here because everything should have been filtered by these three stages here. And at harvest, you pull the plant, you remove the roots, you remove the cup, you wash that, um, and you package the plant, and off you go. You start the cycle again.
Yeah. Every day your, har your, your harvest, you transplant from the small cups to the big troughs uh, so they grow. And then uh, you seed so that you keep replacing what you harvested. Just as, uh, just as important as the uh, taste uh, of uh, aquaponic lettuce is the shelf life. Uh, commercial production, they cut the roots off and they package it and they immediately uh, cool it and store it and if we're lucky it will last 10, uh, ten days before, uh, less, seven days before they have to throw it off the shelves uh, if it's not sold. Uh, this can sit, uh, because it has most of the roots still attached to it, this can last 10-15 uh, uh, days and look and uh, smell and taste and uh, crunchy and all that just like it was harvested yesterday.